Hello, I'm Chris Griswold. Thanks for joining me this month. We're talking about commercial leases. Um, basically, uh, in a commercial lease, tenants shouldn't want to be liable for their own licensees and invitees, acts, or omissions, or negligence uh, under under that lease agreement because that just adds more expense to the uh, basically net rent for a tenant. So they want to carve out that liability beyond anything uh, involving their own officers, directors, and employees. And a landlord can even be on the, the, the tag for um, having to insure or make claims for these uh, tenants' negligent invitees or licensees' acts and omissions unless the landlord puts in the lease uh, certain carve-outs that the landlord's coverage is secondary, excess, non-primary, uh, waiver of subrogation, uh, and other clauses of that sort. Um, at, the end of the, at the end of the day, the landlord wants the tenant to be on the hook for their own licensees and invitees. So a landlord and tenant can kind of war back and forth on, who's, uh, on who wins on that deal. But all things being equal, a landlord's insurance carrier is usually not going to insure uh, situations where the landlord um, is on the hook for those acts and omissions of, of, the, of the tenants and invitees and licensees. So tenants beware. All right, bye.